Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing three super easy yet amazing crafts that you can do using old books. But if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I share different DIY, crafting, furniture flipping, all sorts of fun stuff. So if it interests you, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's go on and get to the video. So for these crafts, I will be using old books that I got for free. For this first project, I am using sheets of paper from an old music book. Using scissors, I am cutting out a leaf shape. Once I have a few of these cut out, I am ready to get started. After ripping down strips of paper, I am applying Mod Podge with a brush, lathering it on quite liberally and applying it to my foam wreath. I purchased this foam wreath from my local dollar store for just $1. I like to add a dab of hot glue just to keep the paper in place while the Mod Podge dries. I continue wrapping the paper around the wreath until it is completely covered. Once I'm done with that, I am now going to be shaping my leaves using just a dab of hot glue and then folding the bottom together. Once I'm finished with that, it is time to start applying the leaves to the wreath. Using hot glue, I stick the leaves onto the wreath base. So here it is. I really like the look of this old music sheets and I think it's a super cute wreath and it only cost a dollar. So now for the next project. To start things off, I'm just ripping off the covers of these books. Next, I'm going to be stacking them. I like to use different size books to kind of stagger the shape of them. Using some stencils, I'm adding some quotes to the bookends. It's 
To add a little character, I'm using a little bit of white paint and lightly brushing it on at random. Now it's time to add some ribbon. And here's how they turned out. It's a super cute, easy craft and it's perfect for a tabletop decor or just to add to a bookshelf. For our last project, this one is a little bit more time consuming. To start things off, I am ripping off the cover of this book. I will be taking the page and folding down the very top corner of it to about the middle of the book and then taking the rest of the page and folding it to the spine of the book. Then I just continue folding the rest of the pages. Now that I've finished the entire book, I'll be using just a little bit of hot glue to glue down some of the pages and to get it into more of a round shape. Now to just add some ribbon and other little embellishments. Using my Cricut machine, I'm cutting out some little things for decorating and I'm gluing them to the pages. So here it is, all finished. 
It's a super cute little bird cage made from only just a book. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you could give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.